Uh, this is Dr. Don Wood, and I want to talk to you about a, a, a new feature that we have, a very impressive graphical representation of results. And uh, these results can be viewed with a standalone post processor. You don't have to be running the software to, to show the results. Uh, this is a, a profile of the pipeline, and it shows flow rates and uh, pump actions, valve actions. It's a very effective way to evaluate pressure surges and surge protection. And it's great for client presentations. So I want to illustrate this uh, uh, looking at this particular system here. Here we have a pump uh, check valve pumping up to an elevated storage tank. And we're going to look at what happens when the pump trips or you have a rapid shutdown of the pump station. Uh, so we can basically uh, uh, play this and uh, it will show the results of the analysis. As you can see, initially the flow is going from the pump to the tank. Now as we play it, you'll see that the pump slows down and the valve trips very quickly and as the wave goes down the line, you get negative pressures, cavitation, that's what we're representing. And as the cavities collapse, you get pressure spikes. So we're having a very, uh, a very serious uh, uh, transient in this situation. We're running a 10-second simulation, and uh, it stops. And, and what you're seeing here is an envelope of the minimum and maximum pressures. Uh, the minimum pressure is at all places in the line about minus 30 feet, which is cavitation. And we have maximum pressures that are uh, very high. So this is. Uh, been a serious transient. Uh, this is an unprotected system and uh, uh, we certainly would not want to design a pipe, a, pump, a pipeline and a pump station that that did this. Now we're going to repeat the simulation for a, a system with some air valves. So we have three air valves pos positioned here at high points in the system. We're going to run the same surge analysis and look at what happens with the air valves. Now again the pump slows down, uh, the check valve closes, and as you go down the line you'll see that there's no cavitation beyond the air valves. The air valves are pulling in air, but here's something I want you to take a close look at. As the air is expelled you get this big pressure spike, and when that happens you start getting spiking around, cavitation forming, and uh, the final result is basically uh, almost as bad as with no surge protection. Now these air valves were nominal air valves. I think they were four inch in and four inch out and uh, they are known to often release the air too quickly causing air slams and that's what we saw here. Uh, there are anti-slam air valves that certainly would uh, do a better job uh, at eliminating the air, the air slams that we just saw. Now the final analysis I want to show you is with a surge tank. And the surge tank will, when the pressure drops, start providing water to the system. So let's take a look at how this uh, is animated. Uh, the pump slows down again, the check valve closes, but now water continues to flow to the, to the tank and uh, the pressure doesn't drop down below this line. Uh, maximum pressure barely goes above the uh, steady state pressure line. Uh, the surge tank has been very effective at providing surge protection. Well the whole point here, here is that we have uh, this graphical presentation tool that certainly allows these presentations to be made to clients or uh, to uh, other firms which will uh, illustrate very clearly uh, what is happening in the system. So this is a, a feature that we're very excited about.